In the western United States, there are dozens of Indian reservations and almost 400,000 Indians. These Indians live in the mountains. They live in the valleys. They live on the desert. They live on the plains. They make their living farming, herding sheep, raising livestock, or working in towns. But all Indians, like all other Americans, face a common enemy, tuberculosis. Tuberculosis may strike anyone, rich or poor, young or old, man or woman. Here is Bill, an Indian farmer. Bill isn't feeling very well. Every once in a while, he coughs and spits up blood. When a man starts to spit up blood, he will usually go to a doctor. The doctor examines him. Bill has tuberculosis. He can still get well, but it would have been easier if he had known about it sooner, before he spit up blood. You see, Bill, one bad thing about tuberculosis is that when it starts, you don't even feel sick. Tuberculosis is like a fire. If you catch a fire when it first starts, it's small and easy to put out. But if you don't discover a fire when it first starts, it grows larger, and then it's very hard to put out. Here are some people getting over tuberculosis. Those who found the disease before they felt sick are getting well quickly and easily. But those who didn't discover the disease until they felt sick can still get well, but they find it much harder. Does that make you wonder, Bill, how you can know that you have tuberculosis even before you feel sick? Well, doctors and x-rays tell the story. We have lookouts in the forest to discover fires when they start. Doctors and x-rays are the lookouts who discover tuberculosis when it starts. Indians can get an x-ray at any of the Indian service hospitals. X-rays don't hurt. X-rays don't cost you anything. They take very little time. Everyone should have an X-ray once a year. Mobile units may visit your home to give X-rays. This is Bart. He has lots of work to do around the place and feels swell. But he knows that an X-ray is a good thing. It takes only a few minutes to get an x-ray at the mobile unit. You don't even have to take off your shirt. The mobile unit doctor examines all of the x-rays. These are all right. Here is an x-ray that shows tuberculosis. The card indicates that this one is Bart's. The disease has just started. If Bart goes to the sanatorium right away, he can recover quickly. The field nurse visits his home to tell him what the doctor has found. It is hard for Bart to believe that he has tuberculosis when he feels so well. The disease has made a spot in his lungs, even though he doesn't feel sick. The nurse tells Bart that his wife and children may get the sickness from him unless he goes to the sanatorium right away. Bart doesn't know what to do. He doesn't want his family to get sick. But who will take care of them if he goes away to get well? 
The field nurse says that she'll tell the social worker. Social workers are trained to help people in trouble like this. Perhaps the state welfare board can help. They might send a check to his family each month he's away. The tribal council may have funds to assist Bart's family. The reservation superintendent may be able to lend a hand too. Relatives like Bart's grandfather might take over the chores and help around the house. Bart has decided to go to the sanatorium. His wife knows it is best. The social worker promises to help all she can. One of the first people Bart meets at the sanatorium is the chief nurse. She takes him to the office where a clerk fills out his papers for him. Then he gets another x-ray. The doctor gives him a complete and thorough examination. This routine doesn't hurt at all and tells the doctor what to do. Laboratory tests complete the physical checkup. When the doctor has all the reports before him, he can plan the patient's recovery. Tuberculosis usually starts in the lungs. The lungs are in our chest. When we breathe, the spongy lung takes in air like a sponge taking in water. When tuberculosis enters the lung, it starts to destroy it. If much of the lung is destroyed, the person will not get enough air. Without air, we cannot live. When you are working or playing, you breathe fast and your lungs work very hard. But when you are in the sanatorium resting, your lungs rest too and have a real chance to overcome the tuberculosis. Usually, the doctor will prescribe special treatments like pneumothorax, which lets the sick lung rest even more. This is a small, painless treatment to which no one objects. Bart is assigned to a room with other patients who are about as sick as he is. In this way, he has pleasant company while he's getting well. At first, Bart stays in bed most of the time, but attendants help him to bathe, make his bed, and do everything possible to make him comfortable. Good food is important. The sanatorium has special foods to help build him up. They are good to eat, too. The doctor visits every day to check up on his progress. All of these things, rest, good food, and special treatment, will combine to make Bart well and strong again. When patients first go to the sanatorium, they spend most of their time in bed. No one likes to stay in bed, but the radio for every patient helps pass the time away. 
The librarian brings books to the bedside. You can pick whatever you want from the book cart. Not all patients do as well as Bart, however. This is Mac. He is sore at the sanatorium, sore at the world. Bart tells Mac that he will get used to it if he will only try. But Mac doesn't care. He just wants to gripe. Now Mac doesn't feel like reading. Mac doesn't want to listen to the radio. Nothing seems to please him. The nurse tells Mac to get back in bed. He will get well more quickly if he rests and takes it easy. As soon as the nurse is gone, Mac jumps up again. He forgets that he didn't get sick in just a couple of weeks. He won't get well in a couple of weeks either. The doctor tells Mac that he is only making it harder for himself. Mac tells the doctor he doesn't care. He is going home. Mac thinks he knows more than the doctor. He is dressed and ready to leave. They don't know how tough I am, says Mac. I feel all right. Bart wonders. As Mac leaves, Bart feels homesick. Everyone gets homesick once in a while. After you have been in the sand a while, you begin to feel much better, and the temptation to go home is great. Bart asks the doctor, if he can go home soon, he tells the doctor how well he feels. The doctor is anxious to have Bart go home just as soon as he can, but he knows that it is not yet time. While a patient is in bed resting, receiving treatment, eating special foods, the body builds a wall around the tuberculosis germs. After a little while, a thin wall is built up. But the wall is easily broken, like an eggshell. If Bart goes home too soon, the work and exercise is liable to break down the weak wall and make him sick all over again. To get completely well, he must stay in the sand until he has built a good strong wall to keep the germs corralled. There is no reason for Bart to be homesick. Letters from home tell him that things are going well. The social worker is still delivering checks from the welfare board. Grandpa isn't slipping either, and the wood chopping and other chores are getting done. The field nurse drops by occasionally to make sure that no one else gets sick while he is away. When the doctor finds that Bart is getting better, he allows him to do more things. Getting up for a while each day is one of the first things he lets him do. Walks outside help him gain strength. The air and sunshine feel good. He goes to the library to select his own books. There is fun with other patients who are getting well too. Often the talk will turn to home. If you follow the doctor's advice, you will get there much more quickly. Occasionally, a patient's family can come to see him. It is good to have visitors from home. 
Bart wears a mask to keep the visitors from getting sick. Uh-oh, who is this? Looks like Mac coming back, and he doesn't look quite as tough as he did when he left. What's the matter, Mac? Feeling bum? If you want to do arts and crafts work, the sanatorium will furnish materials. The craft shop sells the things you make. What happens to the money received for your work? Why, it is yours to keep, of course. You will learn to like the sanatorium, but the best day of all is the day the doctor says you are well enough to go home. Before Bart leaves, he says goodbye to an old friend. So long, Mac. He thanks the doctor and nurse who helped him get well. They are glad he can go home, too. Bart's family is thrilled to have him home. He's awfully happy to be there, too. Yes, be it ever so humble, there's no place like home. The chores are never as hard when you feel strong and well. Remember, there are three simple steps on this trail to health. The first step is to get your x-ray every year. You need an x-ray every year so that if you ever get tuberculosis, you will discover it in the early stage when it is easy to cure. Everyone needs a yearly x-ray, both men and women need them. Boys and girls need x-rays too. X-rays are important and they take so little time. The second step on the trail to health is to go to the sanatorium without delay if you ever get tuberculosis. There are seven sanatoriums in the United States just for Indians. All of them are good places where you can get well if you go soon enough. The third step on the trail to health is to stay in the sanatorium and do just what the doctor tells you until he says you may go home. Remember, if you follow these three simple steps, tuberculosis can be cured. <laughs>